What's up everybody, this is Andy Mills and I'm back with some more Death Stranding tips and tricks. Today I'm gonna to show off the use cases for all three of the exoskeletons. And in this scenario, I'm gonna show you all level threes of each one. Um, actually, I wanna go over the power exoskeleton because you get that pretty early on and I'm sure you can figure out what the use case for that one is. Uh, right now I'm just trying to get in a good scenario to show off the all-terrain exoskeleton which you get at about uh, I don't know exactly what mission it is but you get it from the uh, the roboticist up in the mountains around here I'll look when I get to this next uh, this next zip line checkpoint uh, where's the roboticist there it is so you have to get up to the roboticist before you can get the uh, all-terrain exoskeleton and you get level three exoskeleton with the all-terrain with him once you get the level four connection i believe so because you get it level one at two stars level two at three stars and yeah level four at three at four stars so basically if you're at this part of the game where you're in the mountains if you once you make it to uh, Mount Knox City, it pretty much becomes standard. Uh, it pretty much becomes standard in my opinion. And like I said, I'm going to show it off in this instance as soon as I make it up to this one point. I'm over a BT area, so I'm trying to get away from that. Um, but I already created zipline network and along with other people's online stuff. So in one of my videos, I said try to make a network of zip lines as soon as possible. Because it is very, 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 very useful. All right, so let me equip the all terrain. So I've been using it so much, so my mind is really damaged. So I have all three of them right here. So power and speed exoskeleton. So again, like I just said, I'm not going to really showcase the power exoskeleton. You already know what it does. It lets you carry heavier stuff like absurd amount of stuff, but at this part of the game, you really don't need to have that much stuff on your back. You've already unlocked bridges, trucks, and those things are tremendously, they can hold so much, so much cargo, it's stupid. And I think I'm gonna do a video after this on the cargo trucks and how to get them and where to get uh, upgrades and things of that nature. So that's what the power exoskeleton suit does. And you get level three, uh, let me see, let me look at my notes real quick. You get level three, working with the engineer, that's correct. And then engineer, you do, you get level four connection with uh, the engineer. And uh, speed exoskeleton, I'll go into that when I kind of demonstrate that one. Actually, let me use the speed exoskeleton right now, excuse me. Let me use the speed exoskeleton right now so I can get to a point where I actually have to climb. Now, I don't have a lot on my back because I'm just want, I want to show this off. But obviously it does what it says. You run, you jump really high. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my God. Don't look at that. But yeah, you run, you jump really high. It's really useful for crossing large uh, terrain if it's haven't unpa been unpathed yet, but it's, it's obviously unuse It's not useful when you're trying to go up mountains. And this there's a path right here. So I'm going a little bit faster than I usually would. But if I went through the snow, Terrible. And if I had luggage on, I'd be, I'd be shit for luck because I would be swaying left and right. I'd be holding down my triggers. This wind right now that you don't really get to see because I don't have a lot of stuff on wouldn't, like it would be pushing me left to right. So let me switch real quick. So obviously that's what the speed exoskeleton does. And I've told you where to, um, actually I haven't told you. You get level two and three from the jump dealer. So you get it from the junk dealer at level two connection and at level four connection, you get level three. And I would highly recommend it since I've gone to speed exoskeleton, I have not used the power exoskeleton since then. Like I literally just made this one just so I can use it for this demonstration. And anyways, the all terrain I've been using a lot because I've been putting up the, the zip lines all over the mountains and you have to literally climb everywhere in the mountains when you get to this part of the game. You. Again, you don't you don't get until you get to the roboticist, and I don't think you get to the roboticist until you have to make it to Mount Knot, and then I think you have to go back to the north of Mount Knot. So you go Mount Knot, then the doctors, and then you have to go all the way up here, and that's a hike by itself. 
So, I would definitely get level level four or connection level four with the robot assist. So you get the level three all terrain exoskeleton. I'm gonna show you. I have it on now, and what it does, it obviously makes walking on uneven terrain easier. But by walking on uneven terrain in some parts, it makes you more exhausted. If I had more cargo, I can show it. But it uses up your stamina bar a lot more. It gets like a like a highlighted blue. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Like you can see the blue bar right there, and it's see right there, the highlighted blue. When you're going, up, that's when you're going up like a, a high grade or a steep grade of mountain. I'm gonna try to go up here. The point of the all terrain is to make it faster. Obviously, you can notice the speed, and I'm not even I'm not even sprinting. The point of this is when you use turbo yes you go faster but you're not going to go like speed fast like the speed exoskeleton fast but it's to take away from the the stam stamina pool so you're trading stamina pool endurance or you're trading your stamina pool for your battery pool so i'm going to see if i can engage that uh the highlighted uh bar again come on come on come on I think it's gonna happen up here when I get steeper. I want it to activate before I start doing the burst, the turbo. Which I think should happen. Now. 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 Nope, not now. But anyways, I would burst right here. And you can tell when you're bursting from one, the sound, and the second cue is the, the blue light. That's happening over my battery in the bottom left corner. And my stamina is still draining, obviously, because I'm still walking. But it, if the highlighted portion over my stamina bar was showing, you could see that it wouldn't happen anymore. Well, it won't happen now because I'm, I'm, I'm boosting. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I think I, maybe if I go down. Nope. How did I just get it? It needs to come back. Oh, maybe it's up, up to terrain? Hey, there we go. Now if I boost, it didn't happen. Like it'll still show up because I was doing it, but it's gonna go away and it's not gonna be using that stamina pool because what happens if you use all of that blue stamina, that light highlighted blue stamina pool, you will slip, you lose grip, you lose uh, grip and everything of that nature. You start sliding down the mountain. Um, let's see if I can try to yeah, okay. So I'm jumping. I'm trying to climb this. See how it's, see how it's going away? God damn it, I made it to the top. But you would start slipping and sliding. You would fall all the way down the mountain. Pretty much when we go there. So, that's pretty much it. That's what all three of the exoskeletons do. I told you where you could get the upgrades. It's pretty much where you get it from. Just make it to the fourth level of connection with that said person. And you can, you know, get your speed... I, like I said, I use it all the time. You can carry a stupid amount, amount of cargo. I don't even know what it's, it is at uh, level 3, so let's see. Uh, attach the suit with cargo and equip. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's up to 325 instead of like 250, 260, whatever speed skeleton was. But yeah, there you go. So that's... That's all the exoskeletons. If you guys have any more suggestions for videos, I'll gladly make it for you. Um, if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you have comments or feedback, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It helped me a lot. And I do make a lot more videos. So I'd appreciate it. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day.